Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we have got bunch of these transversal lines in between these two parallel lines and moreover these transversal lines produce these angles as 60 degrees, 78 degrees, 44 degrees, 70 degrees and x degrees and now we are going to find the value of this uh, angle x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And in this tutorial, I will share with you two different methods. So let me go over basic review pretty quick. And let's focus on this diagram. And here we got these two parallel lines. And here's our transversal line that is intersecting both of these uh, parallel lines. And as a result, we get these two angles. And these angles are called alternate interior angles and these two angles are congruent to each other. And now let me show you the very first method. And here's our very first step. And now we have constructed these parallel lines through the vertices of these angles 78 degrees, 44 degrees and 70 degrees. Now let's focus on these angles. This angle and this angle and these angles are called alternate interior angles and they are congruent if this angle is 60 degrees then this angle has got to be 60 degrees as well and now we know that this whole angle is 78 degrees so therefore this angle is going to be 78 minus 60 degrees means that is going to be 18 degrees. Now let's focus on this angle 18 degrees. This angle and this angle they are once again alternate interior angles. If this angle is 18 degrees this angle has got to be 18 degrees as well. And now we know that this whole angle is 44 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 44 minus 18 degrees is going to be equal to 26 degrees. And now let's focus on this angle, which is 26 degrees. This angle and this angle they are once again alternate interior angles. If this angle is 26 degrees, this angle has got to be 26 degrees as well. And now we know that this whole angle is 70 degrees. So therefore, this angle is going to be 70 degrees minus 26 degrees is going to give us 44 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's focus on this angle and this angle. They are once again alternate interior angles. And if this angle is 44 degrees, then this angle has got to be 44 degrees as well. So thus our angle X turns out to be 44 degrees. And now let me share with you the second method. Now let's focus on these angles on the left hand side of these transversal lines. These angles 60 degrees, 44 degrees and x degrees. Now let's go ahead and add these three angles on the left hand side. I'm going to write down 60 degrees plus 44 degrees plus x degrees and now let's focus on the angles on the right hand side of these transversal lines let's go ahead and add them up as well so equal to 78 degrees plus 70 degrees and now let's go ahead and subtract 104 degrees from both sides this is gone so our x angle equal to turns out to be 44 degrees. Thus our angle turns out to be 44 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.